to the class and oh good okay. <laughs> okay glad to see you good evening thank you me too good evening teacher good evening good evening teacher. Okay, we are going to begin with this session and this is the last session for this week. So we are going to uh, begin the session and yesterday we were talking about the uh, celebrations and we are going to create the vocabulary. The last thing that we were saying yesterday, it's the, um, the words baby shower. We were talking about the baby showers and we were saying that we um, are not really sure why they call this um, a event or celebration like that, because it is in Spanish, it's very complicated to um, translate. But in reality, it says when you search the information for that celebration is that is a celebration that born in the United States. It's uh, proper for that uh, place. And it says uh, that it's called like that because of the uh, amount of gift that people give to the baby. So for that reason, we have the baby shower because they take the, the word shower or the gift that people is uh, giving to the new baby that it's coming. That's why this celebration is called baby shower for the amount of gifts that people is giving to the newborn baby or the future newborn baby. But we are going to continue with the, um, the vocabulary that we were uh, studying yesterday. Let's see, we have this one. Oh. I see a message, let's see. Yes, in that case is translate as lluvia. Uh, the word rain uh, and baby shower, in that case shower, it is not baño in that case. It, it's like a, a rain. Porque si decimos es un baño de regalos, it's very strange, but in this case, we can say it's, um, it's a rain of uh, gifts. So. We can say that it's a lluvia. Es, es, es mejor traducirlo como una lluvia o una cascada de regalos in that case. Okay, we have these uh, words here that are the ones that we were studying yesterday. And we have some of these that have the, uh, the general word for this topic that is celebration. That is the first one. Then we have birthday. That is one of the main celebrations that people uh, likes to um, do in our daily life because it is the day we get born. Not all people want to celebrate their birthday, but it's very common. Then we have a celebrate that is like the action of celebration, celebrate. Then we have birthday party. That is the party that we uh, perform 
for our birthday. Then we have the Christmas Eve. Also we had Christmas because there are two different celebrations, Christmas Eve and Christmas, uh, uh, it's uh, the, the main celebration. Then we have Easter and we have the anniversary. Now we are going to see the other words that we are going to use for this uh, topic. Then we have some uh, exercise that we are going to perform tonight. But now we are going to continue with this list. Then we have another word for celebration for making this vocabulary. We have anniversary, then we have within. Within that in Spanish is boda, es el matrimonio. Then we have New Year's Eve. Then we have Carnival. We have also New Year. Then we have Christening. In this case, this word maybe you see this word before and it is a bautizo or bautismo, but it has another way to call this action and it is baptism. That uh, it's the most common, I guess, a word to say or to um, call this a uh, celebration. And we're going to write it like this. We have two words to call that celebration. Then we have Good Friday. This Good Friday, it's in Spanish, El Viernes Santo, Good Friday. Then we have the word event. Halloween, celebration yes. of Halloween. Yes, we have Halloween too. And I am going to write it in this place, Halloween. Yes. And in our country, it's not like um, a big celebration, but some people like to do this kind of celebration that is Halloween, because we know that this is very important celebration in, in the United States and in some other countries. But here, not all the people uh, think this is a good uh, celebration, but it is funny, but people um, can take negative connotation of the celebration, but that is something different. Then we have another word, graduate. Give honeymoon. Then we have parent. In this parade, it's um, in this case is uh, the el desfile. This parade is el desfile with many colors and with the music and all of that. This uh, is a parade. Then we have festive honeymoon. Yes, where's, honeymoon. Where's the, where, where's the meaning? The honeymoon is la luna de miel. Es la, ah. la el momento que se da después del, de la boda, de la celebración de una boda. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Then we have a season. Que son como las estaciones. Season. Pero no las estaciones de tren ni cosas así, sino que son las estaciones como la primavera, verano, and all of that. Then we have Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. This is another uh, celebration that it's um, mainly uh, performed in the United States because it is El Dia de Acción de Gracia. In our country, it is not very common to celebrate a day like this because we don't have that, um, uh, that celebration here, but people in the United States tend to celebrate Thanksgiving for uh, all the work that they have done in the year. So Thanksgiving is El Día de Acción de Gracias. Then we have balloons. So these are, um, son los globos, verdad, que se utilizan, balloons. Then we have another word or phrase, be born, nacer, verdad? Then we have ribbon, 
that are like um um this a uh, uh, piece of of um I mean listones? yes that one son listones de colores que se utilizan para decorar diferentes eh, lugares y en las parades then we have red these are the this piece of decoration that we use mainly in let me see in christmas but also we use them for the easter son eh, como las um, let me see, they are um, coronas de flores que utilizamos para la Navidad. Son esas, esas coronitas, ¿verdad? That we use in Christmas, but also we use in Easter. But in our country, no, it, it is not common to celebrate Easter. But there are a piece of decoration that we use in those uh, moments. Then we have... Procession, procession, festival, present. That is another word to say, but I will write in this place because it is another way to say gift, present. Son regalos. So we have two words to refer this, um, this word. Then we have costume. That this is the... Um, the clothes that we use in a uh, Halloween or Christmas is on this phrase. Then we have another phrase that is get married. Que es casarse, ¿verdad? It's the action of getting married. Es la acción de casarse. Then we have another one that is Festing. In Spanish, this word means ayuno. El festing es el ayuno. I mean, in some uh, cultures, it's very used, but you know, it is the ayuno. So then we have a reception. La recepción de una fiesta, de una celebración. Fancy dress. Fancy dress, when we use our best clothes, cuando usamos nuestra mejor ropa, fancy dress. Then we have pancake day. We have a celebration for everything. And in this case, we have pancake day. It's like pizza day, hamburger day, and all of that. So then we have these words, but there are a lot of words that we can use to um, talk about celebrations. These are the most uh, general words, but we also have colors. We have um, a food. Also, we have cake. We have sweets. Um, we have, in some cases, in some celebrations, we have alcohol or uh, alcoholic drinks. Uh, we have drinks, sweet drinks. We have um, in some celebration like in Easter that we have bunny, eggs, chocolate. Um, we have um, wrapping that is the, the paper that we use to, to decorate the gift or the present. And we have a lot of words that we can use for the celebration topic. But then we are going to do an exercise in which we are going to see a lot of words, but then we are going to put them in categories. I will write a lot of words and you are going to um, think about the category that word is in. So let me, let me write the uh, words in this uh, space. Then I, I will give you the categories that we have. And then we are going to write all the words in each category because we have four categories. We have verbs, we have celebrations, events, nouns, then we have adjectives and we have people. So we are going to 
uh, add these words to each category. So let's see. First, I'm going to do this one. Let me see. This one, this one, this one. Okay. Let's see. I will insert something and then uh, we are going to see the uh, screen again. So let me add these uh, categories. Then we are going to write uh, the words and then you are going to tell me if which category it pertain, celebration or events now. Then we have adjectives. And then we have people. Okay, here we have. Those are the categories. We have four categories, verbs, celebration, event nouns, adjectives, and people. Let's see, let's do this. I will read the word and then you are going to say if this um, it pertains to each category. Voy a decir la palabra y ustedes van a decirme en qué categoría lo podemos meter. So let's see, let's begin. Let me have here. Okay. Number one, colorful. Colorful. Is a verb? Is a celebration or event noun? Is an adjective or is people? Adjective. Adjective. Ah, it's an adjective. Yes. Colorful. Algo con mucho color is an adjective. Then we have attract. Attract is a verb. verb. Is a verb. Yes. Attract is a verb. Atraer. Competition. No. Competition. Event now. Is an event now? Yes, it is an event now. Competition. Then we have daily. 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 Oops. It's an adjective, maybe. Mm, it's an adjective, yes. That's good. Daily. Yeah. Then we have display. Display is a verb. Yes. It is a verb. Display. Event. Event. Yes, event. Now. It's now. a verb, a celebration, a noun, adjective of people. And no. it's a celebration. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration. Exhibition. 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 Yes. No. Uh, noun. Uh -huh. Yo no lo quiero jugar. <laughs> eh, ya, sí, iniciar. Ok. Fabulous. O fabulous. Algo fabuloso. Adjective. 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 Tiene musiquita, tiene musiquita y todo. Fascinating. Fascinating. Observe. Is an? An adjective. It's an adjective. Algo fascinante. Abby, Meti, podemos jugar. Juguemos, juguemos. Meti, puedo jugar contigo, dice Valentina. Claro, pero no sé cómo se hace. Si me enseñas. Oh. Uh, then we have unusual. Unusual, this word. Let's see. Unusual. Uh-huh. 
this one. An adjective. Uh -huh. an adjective. This is an adjective. adjective. Yes. Parade. Parade. It's a noun. Yes. Is a la, el desfile. Yes, of course. Desfile yeah. de las rosas. Ah, yes. Okay, then we have to last. To last. To last. A verb. Yes, of uh, course. Local. Local. Local is no. Mm. Even now, an even no. noun. Mm, yeah. No. Local. Local. Now. It's describing. Local. Huh? It's describing. I'm describing adjective. So. Yes, an adjective because it is describing something. Price. Price. Mm -hmm. It's a noun, even noun. Yes, it's an even noun. Price. Price. Mm -hmm. Price. Exciting. Exciting. Exciting adjective. Mm -hmm. An adjective. It's seen. Es seen. Like this. Seen. Ah, it's a noun. It's a noun. It's a noun. Yes. Celebration. Then we have this word, sculptor. Sculptor. Ah, people. 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 Take part, take part. Take part Herb. is a verb. Mm -hmm. Tomar parte. Pay a part. Uh -huh. Take a part, it's something that is a verb. Then we have take place. Take, take place. place is a verb too. Yes, take place. Place. Delicious. 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 It's an adjective. Delicious. Delicious. Sensational. Sensational. Adjective. 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 Sensational. Behave. Behave. Verb. 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 Behave. Gathering. Gathering. It's a noun. Event noun. Celebration events. Yes. Gathering. Oh. That's not the way to write this word. Uh, <clears throat> ing, ing, the, that way. Okay, next one, relatives. Adjective. Relatives. Relatives, people. 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 Oh. Estamos hablando de nuestros pares, relatives. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Annual. Yes. What? What? Annual. 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 Events now. Events now. Yes. Now. Adjective. No. You celebration. It's something that uh, we can use in both. In celebration, because it is something that happens once a year, 
And we also, we can use it for adjectives because it is describing okay. this uh, action. So oh. then we have another one. Symbolize. It's a symbol. Oh? Symbolize. Symbolize. Adjectives. Symbolize. No, it's a verb. Symbolize. Symbolizar. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, it's a verb. Yes. It's a verb. That is an action. Citizen. Citizen. Um, Citizen. Uh, people. People. Oh, that mm -hmm. Citizen. What does that mean? Citizen. Mean. Las personas son los ciudadanos. Oh. Um, <laughs> community. Community. Uh, people. people. Community yeah. people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> outdoor activity. Outdoor activities. Um, celebrity event now. Mm -hmm. Outdoor. Celebraciones que se hacen. Fuera de casa, ¿verdad? En el patio. Uh -huh. Participate. Participate. Verb. Verb. Oh. Participate. Participar. Ok. Artistic. 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 Algo artístico. Oh, adjective. Then we have feast. Feast. Hmm? Feast word. Feast. Oh, honorarios? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Ah, feast. feast. No. Um, fiesta. Let's see. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know. Um, that's a uh, verb. Tiene que ver Festival. Mm -hmm. Celebration. It is in celebration, but in this case, what is feast? If we are talking about food. Banquete. Un yes. festival, un banquete. Uh -huh. Es un banquete. Feast es un banquete donde hay mucha comida. That is a feast. Crown, crowd. This one, crowd. No crown, the, the, the oh, corona, crowd. Yes. People. 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 We are talking Amen. about a lot of people in a place. Yeah. Artist. 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 Ah, people. People. Yes, people. Occasion, occasion, celebration, A celebration. Mm -hmm. Society, occasion, hmm? society, society, people, uh, people, uh -huh. people, people, A sociedad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Festivities or per festivities. Events, no. Celebration. Events, no. Celebration. Then we have preparation. Preparation. Celebration. Celebration. Preparation. Uh -huh. Celebration. Mm -hmm. Celebration. Preparation. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Adjectives. Event nouns. Uh -huh. Event noun. La atmosfera. Yeah. And we have the last one, costumes, costumes. People, 
people because it is the but in this case mm, it is about people but in which um, events we use the costumes costumes los 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 um la ropa que utilizamos para un evento en específico atuendos ajá in adjectives no celebration because we use them when we are celebrating something for a party mm -hmm. <laughs> yes for a party in christmas in halloween for birthday parties and all of that so we have here a lot of words we are using a lot of words and you see that it do have a um, a lot of uh, knowledge about these words because they are very common in um, in the celebrations. So it is not like uh, we can say it is very difficult to know in which of the categories we can use uh, these words. They are very common because we are um, familiarized with these words. So this is the, uh, the exercise. It was very simple, I guess, because we know uh, what, which words are for people, for adjectives that are very common, for yes. celebration or events, and for the verbs that are the action that we are going to perform. So we have these words, and in the document that I will send you this uh, day, you will find all these words, and maybe some words more for the topic of celebration. And that's the last part for the topic of celebration because it is not a, a very large or hard topic to talk about. And it is very simple. It is just a, a short topic because we are just uh, talking about vocabulary. We are not talking about a specific celebrations. Just we are creating vocabulary, knowing uh, new words and all of that. So. This is the last part for the topic of celebrations or the vocabulary. Then we have relative close of time. We are going to talk about relative close of time. And this one is also a very short uh, topic. So we are going to uh, read something about this uh, relative close of time and what are the uses in some example for this uh, topic. So let's see, what are the, um, the relative class of time? And in this case, we are going to use also the topic celebration because we are talking about celebrate. So we are going to use this expression, let's celebrate to talk about the relative class of time. So first, what is this? Que es una clausura relativa de tiempo? We are going to see what is this uh, thing and how can we use it. It says that this refers to time. That's very obvious. To a time. And in this case, we can uh, use a date or a moment. Previously mentioned. Okay, this relative close of time, it refers to a time, it can be a date or a moment, previously mentioned. Relative close of time are usually introduced by the verb to be. Estas eh, cláusulas eh, se refieren a un tiempo que ya había sido mencionado. Puede ser una fecha o puede ser un momento específico. ¿Cómo las, las presentamos nosotros con el verbo be? So let's see, we have a date uh, for the example. 
we have a day. We have February 14. This is the date, and we are going to mark this one with this color. This is the date. Is, we have the verb E, we are going to mark with another color. We're going to do with this color is the day when. And this is the clause. Esta es la clausula. So we have this, uh, the last part of this sentence is the relative clause. It says, February 14 is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. February 14, that is the date. We use a date to use this uh, relative clause of time because we are giving a specific time. Then we are going to introduce this uh, clause with the verb to be. And that is that um, verb that is marked in light blue, that is a light blue color, because it is like the, the connection between the date and the clothes. Then we have the clothes that is the day when people give card to the ones they love. Esta es la estructura. La podemos decir que esta es como la estructura que vamos a utilizar para estas cláusulas la fecha o el momento específico en el tiempo que ya había sido mencionado, en este caso, pues todos sabemos que el 14 de febrero, it's a, a specific date for lovers or for friends that wants to celebrate this day. Entonces, ya tenemos esa fecha. Luego, el verbo be que nos va a introducir a la cláusula, que es todo lo que nos queda. El día cuando las personas dan cartas o tarjetas a las personas que aman. So, that's the, uh, the relative class of time. Then we have another example. New Year's Eve. That is not a date. It is a moment. But also it can be a date if we uh, write the day and the month. So, New Year. New Year's Eve, that is the moment. In this case, it is not the day, it is the moment, but we are going to mark in the same colors. New Year's Eve is, we are using the verb e, is, again, light blue. And we have the clothes, a night when, I have fun with my friends. So we have the color green for the clouds. So we are creating these uh, sentences by adding at the beginning the date or the moment that is previous mentioned, then the verb and then the relative clause. So we are going to um, do like a formula right here. And we have the date plus verb B. Plus relative clause. Then. In the other one is a moment plus verb B plus relative clause. So that's all that we need to do these, uh, these sentences. So we are going to do an exercise, a really, really quick exercise to 
create some sentences. Then you are going to write your sentence. We are going to complete the dates and moments. We have the exercise and we are to complete. The following dates or moments. Remember that you are going to have uh, you are going to have the date and the moment, that the base. Then you are going to add the verb e and the relative clause. Remember that you are uh, in this case you are maybe remembering something because if you can see in this sentence we have when we are using when. Para estas estas cláusulas podemos decir que estamos recordando algo en una, una fecha específica, porque cuando vemos la, la cláusula, vemos el when, eh, y the, eh, that word means cuando, the day when, el día cuando, a night when, la noche cuando, me divierto con mis amigos. So, in this case, when you are going to complete the sentences, you are going to have the date and the moment. Ustedes ya van a tener el, el día y el momento, no tienen que agregar ni un día ni un momento. You are going to uh, add the verb be, solo van a agregar el verbo to be, que in this case, because uh, it is a single date and a single moment, you are going to use the is form of the verb to be. Siempre van a utilizar el is porque no estamos utilizando dos fechas, sino que solo una. Then, you are going to write the uh, relative clause of time. Remember to use when because we are remembering something of the day. It is not like we are going to have just dates like um, Christmas or uh, we are going to have um, also Mother's Day, but we are going to have another uh, date that you can add your own uh, sentences in that places. So we have the number one, Christmas. Number two, no, uh, March 18. You can write whatever you want. November 20th. Or Children's Day. Then Mother's Day. And number six, third Sunday of June. So we have six dates and moments, and you are uh, going to write the verb uh, B plus the relative clause. For example, in the first one, Christmas is that time when you feel happy to be with your family. Is the time when you feel happy to be with your family. Or Christmas is uh, the day when you eat a lot of food, maybe. So you are going to add the uh, verb to be and the close to the end of the sentence. I will give you time to um, think about your sentences and then when you are, go uh, you are ready, we are going to share some of these sentences. So. You have time to think of your sentence using the relative clause of time.
Okay, with the dates, you can write whatever you want. For example, in March 18, it is not a specific celebration. You can add whatever you want to do in that day. It is not like it is a celebration that we are going to um, do in that uh, day. In this case, you can say uh, that in March 18, it's the day when you pass your exam, for example. Es cuando tú pasaste su examen. So that's um, not necessary to have a, a specific celebration in that day. You can write whatever you want. Okay, are you ready to share your sentences or you are working on them? Finished. Okay. Okay, let's begin with Sandra, and then Sandra will uh, choose another one that is going to read the sentence, and we are going to do it like this. You can choose the person you want to read the sentences. So, Sandra, it's your time to read your sentence. Okay, Christmas is the time when you gather with your whole family and friends. Okay, nice. Thank you. Um, then uh, Joaquin. Joaquin. Okay, the number one. Christmas is the celebration in the late December by the name, by the Jesus burn. Okay, okay. Um, Reinaldo. Reinaldo. Good night. Good night. Christmas is a night when I have it with my family. Ah, okay. Uh, Elsie. 
Elsie. Okay. March 8 is the day when people celebrate the Women's Day. Okay, okay. Adriana. Adriana. November 20th is the day my dog came home. Okay, okay, good. Mm. Yeah, Basilia. Then I am prepared the special with my husband. Okay. Carlos Pineda. Carlos Pineda. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Uh, uh, my beard eye is in Japan, April 28th, celebration with my family. Okay. Uh, Rosa Maria says that she can listen. Someone else has the same uh, problem. You can hear correctly the audio. Yes, I can hear you correctly. Okay, but I don't know if it, it, it is that um, the device. So, Carlos, you can choose another one. Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay. Tell me. My dear guy, it's a celebration with my family in, on April 28th. Okay, you can choose another uh, person to read uh, the the sentence. I don't know if I have problems to hear Carlos, but I can hear the the the. Yes. the okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have problems. Uh, That's okay. What, what the what's your? Choose another one to say the sentence. Oh. Okay. The other section. Yes. Um. Uh, Elsie? I think she already participated. Uh, Elsie? Yes, I participate, but I yes. can do it again. If you want? Yes. Mm. December 24th is the day when people celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's see, who else? Because we have 17 participants. Uh, without me, 16, I guess. Someone else, Elsie? Someone else, um, Eduardo? Eduardo, I don't know if he participates now. Eduardo, no. Okay. I should like to be at home on Christmas Day. Okay. You can choose another one. Uh, Eunice. Christmas is the day when I share all my time with my family. Okay, good. I choose uh, Janet. Okay, um, 
third Sunday of June, uh, we have a piano birthday celebration. Okay, good. The last one. Um, I choose to Marjorie. Marjorie. Hi, good night. <laughs> good night. Okay. And in my country, uh, uh, we have celebration uh, Children's Days for 10 days. Um, for 10 days, wow. Yes, uh, from 1st June to 10th June. Whoa, okay, that's something interesting. Yes. <laughs> in uh, Salvador? No, in Nicaragua. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's really <laughs> nice. Here we have just an, a day to celebrate with the, with the kids, yes. but 10 days yes. is really, really interesting. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay. Another? You're welcome. Yes, you can you can write another one. Okay. I mean, you uh, can read. Um Basilia? Uh she already participated. Um Rosa Maria? Rosa Maria. Se fue a la playa. Bueno, así es la canción. <laughs> oh, no, she is not on the beach. She already uh, write the sentence in the in the comment section. And it says Christmas is the day when everyone shares with the family. She is not on the beach. Don't say that. <laughs> okay. So, we have that examples and that a uh, that a uh, topic that I said that it is not too long. It's a yeah. really, really short topic. And it is not complicated in this case because we are just using some uh, structures to do this uh, sentence. We have the date, we have the moment, the verb be, and then the complement when we can um, talk about that day, that moment in the past or something that we already did, or it is like a memory. So that's uh, are the topic for the relative clause. I will send you the document with all the information, so don't worry about that. And I will send you this uh, document tonight, I guess. Then uh, we are going to see each other on Monday because this is the last day of this week. So have a good night, have a good weekend, and we see each other on Monday. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. night. Bye, Bye, teacher. Good Take care. Night. See Thank you, you teacher. Bye. Bye. See you Monday. See you Monday.